Ladies and gentlemen, this is it, the new G-Bang. I think you'll agree it's instantly recognizable, yet better in every dimension. And the new G-Wagon is not the only living legend we have on stage tonight. We also have a very special guest who is a perfect match for this special car. Both were born in Graz and now have a huge fan base here in the US and around the world. Both are strong characters sporting a rather boxy design and both make me look like the only guy on stage who could use some time in the gym. Let's give a big hand to Arnold Schwarzenegger! Welcome. Hello, dear Gates. Great, great. I'm so glad that you lived up to your promise. I'll be back. Of course, the Terminator always keeps his promise. Absolutely. But absolutely. I did, as I told you, it is such a great honor to be here today at the celebration and the introduction of the new G Wagon because I have driven G Wagons now for 25 years. Right. So I love this car. It's my favorite SUV. A real, real loyal customer. Absolutely. So thank you very much for joining us. And throughout your career, obviously, you have been in many different roles, master them all, from Poland and Terminator, you just mentioned, governor, not the least of all. And you always were successful, even when it was in difficult terrain. So we really know what we're talking about here. What, for you, makes an automotive icon? Well, I think it's a very good question, because I think what is unique about this G-Wagon is, as you said, it was born in Graz, Austria, where I was born, except 32 years later. But little did I know that when I started getting into bodybuilding and building the best body, at the same time, G Wagon became the best built SUV. Then I started getting interested in becoming more powerful. All of a sudden, the G Wagon I saw becoming more powerful. Then I was getting more muscular, the g wagon got more muscular. Then I wanted to get faster, then the g wagon got more fast. So it was unbelievable. So basically what we're talking about is the true twins. Think about that. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think about that. Here's the most amazing thing, Peter, that I try to prove how I can go from one part to another how I can go from bodybuilding to show business, and how I can go from show business to politics, effortlessly. And then at the same time, this happened here with the Chihuahua in the game. It can go from snow to mud effortlessly. It can go from the freeway to off-road effortlessly. It can go right in front of a movie premiere. I put out with this Chihuahua in a movie premiere, and it looks like an elegant limousine, effortlessly. This. SUV can do anything and everything, and this is why I love this car. And now I have something, thank you very much for all that, but of course, something, something which is different. This week we went, we took through definitely several facelifts. What did you to stay in shape? Is it schnitzel or is it sports? Well, I tell you, sport is very important, but you know, you never say to anyone in Hollywood, what did you do for your facelift? And this is an absolute well, no-no. Well, I said, this is the only different thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I tell you that I, I think that you guys did a fantastic job because I prayed that when you talk about redesigning the car, coming up with a new G-Wagon, that you don't touch the look of it. Because I think this car became so uh, historic and such a great car and it, uh, it is loved by everyone around the world because of its look. The visual look, the boxy kind of a look is what is so attractive about the car. And so what you did was you improved the car now and the inside is of course spectacular. I got a quick look at it in Beverly Hills. And the performance, and it's a more energy efficient and fuel efficient engine, and a more powerful engine, and everything has been improved, but the look is still fantastic. It has this boxy look, except it is now wider. 
That's it, he made it wider and I had much more leg space in the back. Do you have any free time? Because we need a few more salesperson for our new GM. <laughs> I think there's no better chance you can have than this one. But you're perfectly informed, that's exactly right. So um, clearly, um, we listened to you, we heard your prayers, or someone heard your prayers, and we followed through. And exactly, even though that every single part is new, it looks just like the former one. But That's what was our job objective. Nadira, I have a question for you. Yes. I think a lot of my friends, especially since I am an environmentalist, and I'm interested in the environment, and I think that eventually we have to get off fossil fuels. What is the future of fossil fuels? And does this G-Wagon eventually come out as an electric G-Wagon? Because I have one right now in Los Angeles, an electric G-Wagon, the first one in the world, and it drives fantastic. What is the future of that? You know, um, last year we said publicly that we would um, change the entire Mercedes portfolio to having all electric drive trends as well. And that really says, stay tuned. So you will electrify the Mercedes? We said the entire, entire portfolio. That's fantastic. Let's give a big hand for that one. This is very important to the world. We got to talk to the world. Thank you for having me. And uh, before we leave, Dieter, since you have stayed so much and lived so long in America, I saw you becoming more Americanized. I've seen you in jeans. True. Which is not common with executives. Nope. Of your level especially. And then I've seen you many times in cowboy boots. Today, tonight, it was too cold here for the cowboy. And these are better isolated. It's okay. I have my cowboy boots on, so don't worry about it. You're not so but, bad with that I am. <laughs> but I have a gift for you here. A gift? Which is very important that you, this it makes them the complete cowboy out of you. Let's have the gift. Wow. First of all, let's have mine. Wow. Right here, cowboy hat, and here's your cowboy hat. Wow! And it fits! So look wow, at this that is great! <laughs> Most the best. I think it's perfectly so long. I really very much appreciate that. This is a great idea, and I'm really going to the hotel right afterwards and get my boots. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Well, Arnold, thanks again for very, very much for all you have contributed here. Um, this is the moment, ladies and gentlemen, to celebrate. Uh, I would very much like to follow an old tradition, and I guess you know that. Uh, it's from Mount Shuttle. Whoever masters this downhill ride, which is really, really tough, is awarded with a G-strong Austrian drink, Silver Schnaps. I don't even think there's a proper translation for Silver Schnaps. But Arnold, you certainly know what this means, what I'm talking about. So, anyways, cheers to the new G class. And cheers to the team who brought it to life. Thank you very, very much. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Schnapps. I think the one schnapps a day keeps the doctor away. You're right. <laughs> Obviously. Okay. Thank you very much.